Hey guys, what's up? Jed here. Welcome to another video. I hope you're all having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be doing parallel and perpendicular lines. So let's begin with parallel lines. Two lines are parallel if they look like this image here on the left. They are traveling in the same direction. They will never meet each other. And what this also means is that they have the same gradient. They have the same rise over run, as you can see here. So if we were to write equations of two different lines, they could look something like this. You see, even though these are two different equations and they represent two separate lines, we know they are parallel because the gradient, which is the number in front of x to the left of x here, these twos are the same. And that's how you know two lines are parallel, when they have the same gradient. Now let's take a look at perpendicular lines. Two lines are said to be perpendicular if they cross each other at 90 degrees, like in the image to the right here. So what does this mean for the equations of two lines that are perpendicular? Well, if one line has an equation y equals 2x plus 1, then a line perpendicular to it will have the equation y equals minus 1 over 2x minus 2. So how you know these two lines are perpendicular is that the gradient of one of the lines is the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the other line. And what that means is, if you see this two here, what denominator does it have? Any whole number has a denominator of one, which we don't really write, and it's a positive gradient. So a line perpendicular to this will have a negative gradient, and the numbers will be flipped around. So the denominator will be the numerator now, and the numerator will be the denominator. That's what we mean by the word reciprocal. And it really is that straightforward. Now we're going to look at some examples where we can apply this idea of parallel and perpendicular lines. Our next example is the following. Find the equation of a line that is parallel to y equals 4x minus 1 and goes through the point 2 and 3. So they've told us that the equation of the line we are looking for is parallel to this line given by this equation here. So I know for a fact that all lines can be written as y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. So I can very quickly just say that the equation of the line we are looking for has the same gradient of this equation here that they've given us because it is parallel to it. So I'm going to write y equals 4x plus c. And that step is really simple and straightforward. We don't know where the line cuts the y axis, but that's something we can work out using the coordinate that they've given us here, 2 and 3. What I'm going to do now is take the x value of this coordinate and the y value of this coordinate and replace them with the x and y values in my equation here. So I'm going to have 3 equals 4 multiplied by 2 plus c. And now if you simplify, we end up with 3 equals 8 plus c rearranging for c, minus 8 to both sides, we end up with c is equal to negative 5. And so now we can write our full equation of the line that we are looking for as y equals 4x minus 5. And there you have it. Now we found the equation of the line that is parallel to this equation of the line that they've given us, and it goes through the points 2 and 3. Okay, now for our final example. Here, they're asking us to find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to the equation of this line, y equals minus 4 over 3x plus 1, and goes through the point 2 and 3. So we're going to start this like we did in the previous example, and write y equals mx plus c, the equation of any line. And now for the gradient, the fact that they've told us it's perpendicular means we need to take the negative reciprocal of this line here. So instead of minus 4 over 3, since it's already a minus, taking a minus of something that is already a minus makes it a positive. So instead of minus 4 over 3x, we're going to have positive 3 over 4x plus c. And you don't really need to write a positive symbol here to show that it's positive. Writing it just as 3 over 4 is fine. Now we take the x and y values from our coordinate that they've given us and input it into this equation here. So that's going to give us 3 is equal to 3 over 4 multiplied by 2 plus c. And if we simplify, we end up with 3 is equal to 6 over 4 plus c. Now if we rearrange for c by subtracting 6 over 4 from both sides, we end up with the following. And this simplifies further to give us the following, 3 over 2. And now we can write our full equation, which I'm just going to write down here y is equal to 3 over 4x plus 3 over 2. And there you have it. This is the equation of the line 
that is perpendicular to the equation of the line they've given us here that goes through the point two and three. Guys, I hope you've learned something by watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Take care.